in this class we'll first learn how to uh, write symbols of annuity due and annuity in arrears and annuity in continuous and then we'll do these sums so first how will you write annuity in arrears so all t equals to a underscore n a underscore n space and now backslash just give a bar two spaces and close I'll show this again. So all t equals to a underscore n space left arrow key which highlights n backslash bar space space and and a pipe pipe key appears from shift and backslash key of your keyboard. Now once this is done, you can save this as new equation. So save as new equation. You can see this is the name gallery equations category. You want to save in say built in. Or create new category. I'll say this is my actuarial category. Okay, I'll save this in actuarial category, building loan, and insert content only. This is very important. Please save this as insert content only. Okay, so once you save this, you can see now this appears over here. Okay, in your recent, you can directly insert instead of writing all of these every time. Okay, similarly for a due, we'll write a d d dot. A D D dot space and space two spaces. A D D dot two spaces again. All t equals to a backslash d dot a d dot space space. Okay, an underscore n. Okay, again highlight the back region bar double space and close. Okay, again save this as a new equation. So I have saved this as what. The name I did not change here. You can obviously assign names also. So say again, saving this as new equation. If if you want to write anything, you can write. I am currently not writing an actuary, and insert content only. That is very important. Insert content only and okay. So this saves it as my new equation here also. A D U N A N is saved. Similarly, you can write A bar N. So all t equal to A backslash bar space space. And underscore n space again backslash bar space space and close. So this is my continuous one. Again, you can save this also as new equation in your actuarial category. Insert content only and okay. So these are your values which have been. If now you can obviously an uh, write uh, assign shortcuts to this. How will you assign shortcuts to each one of these? Is go to your options, file options, in that customize ribbon, customize, and in customize go down. So you'll see building blocks over here. Okay, in building blocks, can you see the first one? So this is a due. This is your uh, annuity due. Okay, annuity in advance. So if you want to write any press new shortcut, you can press. Say I am giving this to be any anything you can give all shift A also you can give. Say I am giving this as all shift A. Okay, all shift A is my new shortcut for this, and you can assign. As soon as you assign this, it comes here. Okay, come this. This is A bar which I'll uh, achha, I'll first give all shift B to my. All shift V to my arrears assign, and all shift C for continuous. Just to remember that C is for continuous and assign, and close. Okay. Now if you see, I'll come down. I pressed all shift C. So this comes automatically. I press all shift B. Arrears come. I press all shift A. Advance comes. So now this your shortcuts have been set. Now once we have been writing shortcuts, ah, uh, save shortcuts. Then what we can do is. We can just normally do our questions. Now let's do this question. Say, using an interest rate of twelve percent per annum convertible monthly. So this we have been given convertible monthly interest rate has been given to us. Calculate the combined present value of an immediate annuity payable monthly in arrears such that the payments are thousand per annum for the first six years. And four hundred per annum for the next four years, together with a lump sum of two thousand at the end of ten years. So first we'll do this. Let's say question one. Question one. 
this is my question one okay first six years has been given then four years and given and at the end of 2000 is the lump sum so first part question one part one we'll come down and we'll write all t equals to present value is equals to thousand divided by 12 and now it's payable in arrears if you see annuity payable monthly in arrears and it'll work monthly so what did i give shortcut for arrears all should be and i just need to change my n come inside this change your n only just come this and change your n to 72 okay similarly next part if i write 400 divided by 12 and next is v to the power 72 because now it's next year and again all shift b and just change this to this n to your 48 so you just need to change your n every time okay plus 2000 v to the power 10 because it's receiving a lump sum okay and this is all at the rate of 1% because we have been given 12% convertible monthly. So, monthly interest rate is 1%. Okay. And then we will just solve this. Salt equals 2000 by 12 into the value for this. You can just calculate in your calculator 51.1504 plus 400 divided by 12 into 1.01. .01 to the power minus 72 and the la next part is 37.9740 and plus 2000 into 1.01 1 .01 to the power minus 10 okay so this is there and then next step you can just write all t equals to and solve your values 4262.53 these all calculating in calculator 618.34 plus 605.99 so this comes to 5486.86 okay so this is solving my first part second part coming down the amount of level annuity payable continuously for the 10 years having the same present value as part, uh, payments in part 1. So now part 2 all t equals to we have been said that the pay first we have to calculate that. So let the annual rate of payment be x. Okay. And then we have 5486.86 is equal to x by 12 we have taken x as annual we are working in monthly so x and now all shift c was for a bar and just again changing this 120 10 years monthly payments so solving this you will get x by 12 into 1 mile just open two brackets 1 minus v to the power 120 divided by delta to so backslash d l t a so this is my delta close brackets so so when you work this this is x by 12 into 70.0484 so t equals to equals to x is equals to 54 86.86 divided by 70.0484 which is equal to and into 12 also there is a sorry I forgot to write into 12 and which is equals to 939.95 so we found the value of x also and part 3 the accumulated value of first 7 years payments at the end of the seventh year for the payments in one and two so we have been uh, told to find the accumulated value of the first seven years at the end of the seventh year for the payments in one and two both for the first part and for the second part so accumulated value is equals to one plus this we are doing for the first part one plus i to the power 84 seven years and then in brackets we'll write thousand divided by 12 into 
all shift B was this. Just write 72. Okay. And then we will come plus 400 divided by 12. All shift B. Just click on N so that you can just edit N. So N is now 12 for the next 2 years. And we have to have a V to the power 72 as well. Okay. You can copy this directly from up also. Instead of writing the entire thing. You could have just changed one portion. And I just wrote it to show you all. Now all T equal to 1.01 .01 to the power 84. And then you can just solve it. 1000 divided by 12 into... 51.1504 plus 400 divided by 12 into 1.01 .01 to the power minus 72 and into 11.2551 okay which is equals to 10255.23 and for the next part, for the continuous one, it is equals to 939.95 divided by 12. All shift C. Here are, this will be 7. Or uh, we need to calculate S bar. So just edit A to S. Just click on A. Okay. Instead of clicking on the entire thing, just click on A. And this has to be, N has to be what? N has to be 84 which is equals to 939.95 divided by 12 into 131.325 which is equals to 10286.54 okay so this is done question 1 Next, we'll do question 2. Payments of 1000 per annum are payable quarterly in arrears from 1 1 to 31 12 25. The annual effective rate of interest is 3.4% for calendar years uh, 2020 to 23 uh, inclusive and 4.2% uh, thereafter. Calculate the present value of payments at 1 1 2010. So, first we have to calculate the present value for 1 1 2010. So again, new page first for a new question. Question 2. So first, PV is equals to all T equals to. Now we have 1000. All shift B for arrear payments. Okay. And the payments is for. 4 years but it is a quarterly payment so what we will do is when you are here just write to the power 4 in double brackets obviously to the power 4 in double brackets and give space so see this will go to above which means quarterly ok and then this is at the rate 3.4% that you write this is at the rate 3.4% then next is 1000 v to the power 4 this is at the rate 3.4% and the other one now I'll just not write it I'll just copy this entire thing from here and paste it and just change this to 2 ok so for the remaining 2 years and this is at the rate 4.2% interest rate changing some ok and then which is equals to all t equals to you can just calculate the values if you want or you if first if you want calculating i4 and i4 at 3.4 percent and i4 at 4.2 percent so calculating this all t equals to i to the power double brackets give 4 
at the rate 3.4 percent which is equals to 4 into 1 minus 1.034 to the power 1 by 4 minus 1 which is equals to 0 0.03357 and again same thing just copy this and change the interest rate and the values so this is 4.2 percent this is 0 0.042 and the value here will be 0 0.04135 okay so now once we have calculated alt equals to present value is equals to 1000 into 1 minus 1.034 to the power minus 4 divided by 0 0.03357 plus 1000 into 1.034 to the power minus 4 into I will copy this again instead of writing so you need to see for your own self that what shortcuts you can use to save your time 4135 and then this is equals to 5399.40 okay so this is how you calculate the second part says the accumulated value of payments at 1127 so at 1127 you need to calculate the accumulated value this is already we have calculated for 10 just accumulated for 17 uh, 7 years we will get the values so part 2 all t equals to 5399.40 into 1 Point zero three four to the power four and into one point zero four two to the power three, which is equals to six nine eight two point two one one eight one. Okay, so this is how you solve these values for part two as well. That's it.